The story begins with Pippa, who moves into a shared house in Montreal with her boyfriend Thomas for the first time. They are excited about living together. One evening, while enjoying a drink, they notice that the apartment across their window is fully visible, catching their attention. The neighbors start kissing and observe Pippa and Thomas offering their criticisms. Pippa asks Thomas to stop looking and respect their privacy, and eventually convinces him. Different lives unfold in each window, but the view of the opposite house is the most interesting. Pippa dresses up in an attractive nightgown to entice Thomas, but he is asleep, rendering her efforts futile. The next day, Pippa starts her day in the new neighborhood and heads to work with her close friend, Ari. Ari asks about Pippa's new life with Thomas. Pippa shares that she witnessed the neighbors engaging in intimate activities the previous night. Pippa works as an ophthalmologist assistant, aspiring to become a doctor herself. Her senior doctor gifts her something for the birds that visit her new home, bringing joy and happiness. Returning home, Pippa finds a beautiful drawing of Thomas on the blackboard and installs the bird-related gift. They discuss their new neighbors and admire the beauty in their lives. Pippa and Thomas notice their neighbor choking, and though they try to alert his wife, she doesn't understand. Pippa urges Thomas to help, but the wife saves him, and they share a relieved kiss. In the middle of the night, Pippa can't sleep and is drawn to the opposite window once again. Pippa observes the neighbor's wife leaving for a trip, and her husband sees her off from the window. Intrigued by the neighbor's charm, Pippa provokes him, but when he looks back, a glass of water shatters. The following day, Thomas, who works on music for commercials, notices their neighbor, a photographer, being intimate with a model in the absence of his wife. Pippa's attention is caught by a hunting camera in a shop window, and she purchases it. They start investigating the photographer's behavior further and discover that he invited the same person he was talking to earlier to his house for a photo shoot. However, he later provocatively undresses, while Pippa and Thomas also engage in an intimate and creative encounter. But like the neighbor, Thomas fails to provide Pippa with a happy ending. Unable to sleep, Pippa goes to the kitchen for water and finds her attention drawn back to the opposite window. She realizes the deep connection between the neighbor and his wife. The next day, she shares this incident with her friends during a meeting. While talking with Thomas's sister, Pippa learns about his past ability to capture sound from closed spaces using a long-range microphone. Thomas explains how he can access sounds inside the neighbor's house by using glass reflection and vibrations. They need a mirror to reflect the sound lines, but their attempts fail. Nonetheless, Pippa is determined and decides to attend the neighbor's party anonymously with Thomas to install a sound reflecting device. As they enter, Sebastian, the neighbor, carries Pippa on his shoulder and takes her to the photo shoot stage while Thomas is asked to take a picture with her. Sebastian guides them on posing for a beautiful picture, and after the shoot, he walks away without speaking. She uses the distraction of the crowd to install a mirror behind a statue, and they leave the house. With Pippa's guidance, Thomas reflects laser light onto the mirror, allowing them to listen to the couple's voices. The couple argues, and Julia, Sebastian's wife, discovers his infidelity. Tired of the arguments, Sebastian wants to end the relationship and divorce her. Pippa and Thomas feel relieved when the argument concludes with a broken pair of glasses. At work, Pippa discovers Julia has come to buy new glasses. Pippa guides Julia in choosing a new frame, conducting an eye test to ensure no issues. They become more intimate during the process. Julia suggests spending the weekend together in a sauna and hot water pool. Pippa agrees, despite Thomas asking her to cancel the date. Thomas's job in music advertising leads him to become curious about what Sebastian says to his photography models. He adjusts his microphone to listen and realizes Sebastian is attempting to seduce the models. Pippa shares what happened in the office, intending to inform Julia about her husband's unhealthy relationships. However, Thomas insists they should focus on their own relationship and stop spying on the neighbors. Thomas asks Pippa to cancel her date with Julia, but Pippa refuses. This causes Thomas to lose hope and leave the house to buy a drink. The weekend arrives and Pippa goes to the sauna club with Julia. Pippa tries to indirectly discuss avoiding relationships involving betrayal. Julia praises Sebastian, expressing her trust and considering him a successful and professional person. Pippa remains silent, and they part ways after the sauna club visit. Pippa now finds herself fully involved with these two people. Pippa can't sleep one night and sets up listening devices. She realizes Julia is awake and tries to connect to their house's printer using Thomas's computer. 
Pippa succeeds and sends Julia an anonymous message exposing Sebastian's infidelity. Julia initially doesn't believe it, but Pippa mentions the used condom in the bathroom trash can. Thomas notices what is happening and blames Pippa for interfering too much. However, Pippa is determined to expose Sebastian. Julia discovers the truth when she checks the trash can and heads to Sebastian's room with a knife in the presence of Pippa and Thomas. Thomas panics and tries to call the police, but Pippa stops him to avoid being arrested for spying. Julia decides not to kill Sebastian and leaves the room. A furious Thomas crushes Pippa's camera and returns to the bedroom. The next day, Thomas talks to Pippa and asks her to stop spying on the neighbor. Pippa promises she won't do it again after the dangerous incident of the previous night. They hug, but Pippa senses something strange happening in the neighbor's house. Julia has committed suicide. Thomas, blaming Pippa, gathers his belongings and ends their relationship, leaving Pippa alone. Pippa spends the night sleeping alone in bed. The following day, when she calls customers to deliver their glasses, she encounters Julia's glasses and records a resentful message about providing new glasses. Weeks later, Pippa observes Sebastian's deteriorating condition after his wife's death. She goes to a shop where Sebastian is having a drink, attempting to calm her conscience. Sebastian notices her presence, joins her table, and engages in conversation. Pippa sympathizes with him, trying to comfort him with her words. Sebastian invites her to his house for drinks and a modeling photo shoot. Pippa agrees, and they go together. Sebastian serves drinks and asks Pippa to attend his exhibition opening. He asks her to pose for the camera, intending to take her picture. They kiss and have a relationship while Pippa is cheating on Thomas. Meanwhile, Thomas arrives at the house with flowers, finds Pippa missing, and drinks his usual beverage from the fridge. He pours some for the birds. Thomas notices the presence of someone new in Sebastian's house and realizes Pippa's infidelity upon seeing them with the camera. The next day, Pippa wakes up in Sebastian's arms, returns home, and finds Thomas hanged, dead. After this incident, Pippa mourns Thomas's loss for a long time, leading a sorrowful life and blaming herself for these events. Sometime later, she sees Sebastian's exhibition opening on Poster Street and decides to attend with Ariana. At the opening, Sebastian thanks her for coming and asks her to enjoy the event. Sebastian discusses his new project, inviting Julia to explain the details. To Pippa's disbelief, Julia appears entirely healthy, and their project is related to Pippa and Thomas. Julia and Sebastian reveal that Pippa and Thomas were illegally spying on them, and cameras recorded their every move in the house. Julia narrates the entire story of Pippa's life to the audience, considering her actions the main cause of Thomas's death. Pippa realizes that everything was a setup, and they took advantage of her. She quickly leaves the exhibition and goes to Sebastian's place. In the attic room, she discovers that Sebastian and Julia have recorded every moment of their presence in the house. In a fit of rage, Pippa destroys everything, tearing pictures apart and crying. The following day, Pippa must leave Montreal and vacate the house. While packing, she empties her drink into the bird's water container and notices several dead birds beneath the window. Moments later, she encounters Julia, who says her goodbyes. Sebastian and Julia are interviewed by a magazine, revealing their idea to create a gallery of pictures of neighbors spying on their lives with each season focusing on a different role. Sebastian shows nervous behavior during the interview, and they leave the magazine office with their fan's gift. After having a drink, they discuss Sebastian's guilt. Sebastian questions Julia's lack of shame, and she denies responsibility for Thomas's death, blaming the anonymous person who humiliated them at the exhibition. The printer starts printing paper again, and Pippa communicates with them, revealing that she knows everything and is certain that Thomas didn't commit suicide but was murdered. Sebastian and Julia notice Pippa's presence and chase after her to stop her. Pippa runs to her workplace but fails to prevent them from entering. She explains that she knows Julia poisoned Thomas and made it appear as suicide. Pippa accuses them of playing her and being the real culprits behind Thomas's death. Julia tries to pretend innocence, dismissing Pippa's claims as hallucinations, but suddenly faints. Pippa tells Sebastian that the drink was her gift and that she poisoned them, wanting him to see her face for the last time. Pippa takes them under the ophthalmic equipment, blinding them, ensuring they miss their next project and can't ruin anyone else's life. 